It's a UFC lightweight division belt. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas all right well he's one of the more accomplished brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division dc and i know how many chokes you have in your arsenal offensive jiu-jitsu defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy it doesn't get as high level in terms of jiu-jitsu knowledge he knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level from the arm bar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again and don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission right. it's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy and even the high level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine it's so truly a case of pick your poison with this brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner and now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight four years apart with similar height and some differences in reach here's bruce buffer Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chan! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 9 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles do Bronx Oliveira! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? So All right, so here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded wrestlers in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, Nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting it to the ground and choking you up. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Single collar tie now. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Oh! Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man 
is as good as any you've ever seen. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Bleeding from his cheek now. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Setting up a sub here. He's gonna attack armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Unbelievable! Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx Oliver! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised, and the 